in one of my more recent videos I showed you guys how to identify where a node is at and where to make your cut below the node and how to water propagate that cutting so today I wanted to take another cutting of my Monstera so I thought I would show you how to do the same thing except planting straight into soil instead of water propagating so I didn't really talk about where the node is and how to make that cut since I did that in my water propagation video but if you missed that video you need to locate where the node is on your plant and then cut below it otherwise it's not going to grow any roots if you cut above it so you cut below the, no the node and then let your cut callus over and dry before you do any sort of propagating with it because you don't want the cut to get any rotting going on so that's what i did today i potted it up in soil so that's what you're about to see so today i took a cutting from my monstera below the node here and i let the cut callus over and I'm going to be propagating this into a brand new plant and I'm going to be doing it straight into soil instead of with water. So I'm going to be using a well draining mixture for mine. I don't do anything too fancy or special with it. I just have moisture control potting mix and then I have orchid bark and perlite mixed in just to make sure that it's really well drained. You don't want the soil staying wet for too long. These plants like to be watered well and then let the soil dry out before you water again. Just like you would with any sort of succulent. So I'm filling this up. I'm going to hold my plant in here to the height I want it and I'm just going to backfill the rest and then I will also probably throw in just a few clay pieces just to have them draw some moisture so just a handful of these not too many I'm going to go ahead and water this and then add as much more soil as I need. So I'm going to do that. I'll be right back. All right. I went ahead and wet my soil in the pot so I can see about how much more soil I'm going to need to add. And I grabbed a bamboo stake to help support this because the leaves are so large it's kind of top heavy so that'll also be helpful for when it gets larger you can direct the aerial roots to the pole and it'll support it as it gets larger and help it grow upward instead of out so I'm just gonna fill this in some more going to water it some more, tap out the air, so that we get it completely filled. That's all there is to it. 